How to write up the answer to a continuity problem. So in class today there were a number of questions about what should students write and how they should do this type of problem. So I decided to make a little screencast to answer that question. So let's suppose we have a problem we're working on. For what value of a is f of x continuous everywhere? So for all values of x. If f of x is defined by the following uh, formula, so it, it's equal to a times x when x is strictly less than 1, and it's equal to x plus 2 when x is greater than or equal to 1. So for something like the OSH, what I would expect you to write is to explain that continuity requires that the limit as x approaches b from the minus side, in other words from the left, the limit of f of x must be equal to f evaluated at b, and it also has to agree with the limit as x approaches b from above, from the right, as well, for all values of b in the domain of f. Okay, so in this case, uh, the pieces are polynomials. And polynomials are continuous. So x equal 1 is the only concern. And what do we need to check? We need to make sure that limit as x approaches 1 from the minus side of f of x, we want that to be equal to f of 1, but first let's write what that is. So we can, instead of writing limit as x approaches 1 from the minus side, we can just write the limit as x approaches 1 and now fill in the formula for the value of f on the minus side. And now that's just a continuous function. So if I'm just coming from the left side, I know that this will evaluate to a. That's not actually the value of the function, that's the limit as I get closer to x from the left-hand side. And then we need to say that the limit as we go from the plus side, and that will we, we want that to be equal to the first limit that we wrote just above here. So this one is the limit as x approaches 1 and now I've gotten rid of the from the plus side because I'm going to put in the formula for what's on the plus side and that is equal to 3. Now this also because there's an equals on this part of the function this guy is also equal to f evaluated at 1. So we have one of the equal signs that we need, this one, and now we have to enforce this one. So therefore a equal 3. Now there may be more of a calculation involved but this is the basic start that you need. You need to specify that you recognize that there are limits involved in the process. Write a sentence explaining that limit statement and then you can write down the calculation quickly below. And this is what we'd expect on an OSH. On a midterm you should try and communicate as much of this as possible but we understand that sometimes you are in a rush and don't put all the little pieces in, but you should try and get as much of this information in as you can. And that is the answer to the question of how to write up your answer for a continuity problem of this type.